The New York Mets and New York Yankees meet for another edition of the Subway Series on Tuesday at City Field. No matter where these teams are in the standings, New York City fans always take notice when these inner city rivals face off. So here are the top five moments in Subway Series history. Starting at number five, let's go to June 27, 2008. The Mets and Yankees played a split stadium doubleheader, and Mets first baseman Carlos Delgado had a game for the record books. Delgado recorded nine RBIs, the most ribbies recorded in a single game in Mets history. Delgado drove home all nine runs on three hits, a two-run double, a three-run home run, and a grand slam. The first baseman helped fuel the Mets to a 15-6 win over the Yankees in a record-setting way. Coming in at number four, May 19, 2006, the Mets trailed 5-3 at one point in this game, but in the bottom of the ninth with the game tied, David Wright stepped up to the plate to face Yanks closer Mariano Rivera. Wright got the best of the Hall of Fame closer as he took a Rivera pitch to the center field warning track, delivering the game-winning walk-off single that scored Paul Aduca to give the Mets a 7-6 win. Number three, who can forget this one? Yankees are down to their final out, down eight to seven with two runners on. A-Rod hits a pop-up to shallow right field with Mets second baseman Luis Castillo getting in position to catch the pop-up and seal the win, but he drops the ball. He dropped the ball. The ball popped out of Castillo's glove and both runners score and the Yankees win. Fans of the Bronx Bombers went from heartbreak to celebration in an instant in what will always be remembered as the drop. Number two, we call this one the Roger Clemens and Mike Piazza trifecta, as the story is told in three parts all happening in the 2000 season. The first taking place on June 8th in the top of the third inning, bases loaded, and Clemens hung a slider over the middle, and Piazza crushed the grand slam to dead center field. But Clemens would not forget that blast. Go to later in the season on July 15th, the second game of a day-night two-stadium doubleheader. Clemens drills Piazza in the head, and Piazza went down immediately, laying on the ground at home plate. Piazza would leave the game. But the ultimate moment between these two came in Game 2 of the World Series, October 22nd, at Yankee Stadium. Piazza swings at Clemens' pitch, and it shatters Piazza's bat, sending a large chunk of shattered bat towards Clemens' direction, while the ball went foul towards the right field dugout. Clemens then proceeds to throw the broken bat shard towards Piazza, who's running down the first baseline. And the bench is clear immediately as replay showed the broken bat bouncing into Clemens and Clemens throwing the shard at Piazza. Needless to say, there was no love lost between these two heated rivals. And for the number one moment in Subway Series history, Let's go back to the 2000 Subway World Series. Game five, Mariano Rivera on to close things out, gets Mike Piazza to fly out to center field, and the Yankees earned the ultimate bragging rights as the champions of not only New York City, but as world champions.